YouTubers worship money. And that's a big problem because much more important than money is your health. When you're healthy, you can always make more money. And a lot of you guys think that if you had money, then it would solve all your problems, you would be able to accomplish your desires, you would be more attractive to females, or you'd be more independent. And a lot of that is true, but I don't believe that money is a cure-all. And also I think one of the biggest problems is that you guys look up to people who are complete scams and criminals. Much more important than actually having money is how you make your money. If you're Jason Bond and you surround yourself with Petra Hess who was arrested for fraud for stealing $700,000 from her job, those people hired her and gave her an opportunity and then she rewarded them by stealing. I can just say that look up to people who have money because those type of people, they might be morally bankrupt and it's much more important to care about how those people made their money. Are they being of service to other people? Are they helping them? And also, you should not compare yourself against this person or the other person or your friend for two reasons. The first reason is that you should always strive to work on yourself and to become a better person. You are in control of your own work ethic. If you choose right now, which is New Year's Day, that I'm recording this on New Year's Day, instead of like going out and partying or doing other things or watching television, I am here recording and batch recording about 20 videos. You are in control of your work ethic and as long as you do not pursue instant gratification, then eventually if you keep putting out content and you keep honing your craft and learning skills, you will be successful. The second thing why you should not compare yourself to other people is it's just simply not going to help you at all. You are in control of your own life. So as long as you have a great work ethic and you decide that you're going to apply yourself, then you can make money. And the other reason is money just simply isn't that important. Like you're gonna buy stuff to impress people that you don't even like. What's the point of that? So even if you had a lot of money, you are then going to go out and buy an expensive car, so then you would have to maintain that standard every single time you saw that person. So if you bought an expensive car and then a girl was attracted to you because you have an expensive car and she believes that you make money, you are then going to have to take her out to expensive dinners, buy her gifts like jewelry, and why do you even want to deal with that? So while I definitely believe that having money is way better than not having money because it provides you with freedom, the reality is that a lot of YouTubers, they worship people just because they have money and you should ask yourself what, a way more important question. How did this person get their money? Are they scamming people? Are they defrauding them? Or are they being of service? I actually like people like Gary Vee because he's built up a successful business. I like people like Tom Sosnoff from Tasty Trade because he built up Thinkorswim and then sold it to TV Ameritrade for two to three hundred million dollars. So in that scenario, you have to really value people whose actions are completely consistent with the words that they speak. Looking up to someone like Ricky Gutierrez is not a good role model because he's a fraud and a borderline criminal. So yes, he might have money, but he is hurting other people. Looking up to Tim Sykes is not good. You should not try to emulate the behavior of Tim Sykes because he is a fraud and a borderline criminal. You should work on, him, on yourself, develop positive habits, and make sure that you do not worship money because if you put your if you put your goals out or rather if you put a contingency on your happiness if you tell yourself that you're not happy because you don't have money and then you suddenly have money which you can as long as you work hard or if you you know you do whatever you want to do it's not going to suddenly change you changing yourself and improving your life is a slow process it starts by taking a step forward and then just aggregating and accumulating all of this, the positive momentum so that you can make positive steps and take larger steps into improving your life. So remember that if you want to improve your life, you have to take positive small steps which compound over time. And placing these people who do negative things and who hurt people on a, on a pedestal and worshiping them just because they have money, the much better question to ask is how did they 
come into money? Did they earn money? Did they do the right thing? Do they help people? Are they trying to be of service? So you might not agree with everything that I'm telling you. You might believe that Ricky Gutierrez is great. You might believe that Ty Lopez is great, but I'm telling you that there are great people who are doing incredible things, but then there are other people who have money who are really hurting others, like Bernie Madoff, he's a really bad person. Elizabeth Holmes from that company, um, I forgot where it pricks your blood and then it does the, and it does like those, bio, those lab, the lab testing, Elizabeth Holmes, she's a criminal and hopefully she ends up in jail. You definitely have to make sure that you look up to people who have earned their money by helping and being of service to others because not everyone who has money is a good person. Not everyone who has money is someone that deserves your respect and deserves your attention. David Jaffe with beststockstrategy.com. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, I'm here to help you. And thank you for your attention.